On a gentle summer's day, Scapoose Bay offers plenty of protection from wind and wave, so no need to worry, only time to paddle. We're going to leave Scapoose Bay, work our way down the channel, across the Multnomah Channel and over into Savi Island into a beautiful little paddle called Cunningham Slough. Finding a comfort zone on the glassy water comes easy on a day filled with summer's glory. I can't tell you how many times I have people come out and say, I can't believe this is only 25 miles away. I feel like I've gone to uh, some place that would require days to get to. We're on a stretch of backwater largely overlooked this time of year. Steve Gibbon says kayaks draw only four inches of water, so allow easy access into tiny bays and sloughs. A quiet way to explore wildlife hideouts. Unless you get out there into nature, you can't experience it. Getting out and going kayaking is the best way to experience wildlife, especially in the Savi Island, St. Helens area, Scapoose Bay area. I mean, you can go for miles and miles. It's a kayaking mecca. If there's a more underrated Oregon State Park than Wampato Greenway, I certainly don't know where it's tucked away. Well, I think to some degree, just the peacefulness of it. There's not a lot of hubbub out here. Wampato Greenway is 88 acres of natural parkland with two miles of looped trail, according to Ranger John Mullen. And it's close enough to Portland that you feel like you're getting away even though you're right next door. Mullen adds the site was once called Virginia Lake, but was renamed when state parks took over management in the 70s. Native Americans knew the place well. They lived here by thousands for as many years and grew the namesake Wapato plant. Green arrow leaf shaped uh, plant that grows in these wetlands and they would actually cultivate it. It's been diminished quite a bit by the invasive reed canary grass, but in many of these places, uh, either by restoration work, uh, it's been coming back to some degree. Wapato's in bloom this time of year and its important habitat for baby Pacific tree frogs galore. Once it was harvested by the natives for its bulb, similar to a potato, each October. But you don't have to wait that long to enjoy a visit. It's a lovely view. People like to come out here and there's bench and you can sit and kind of relax and forget about the kind of urban hubbub of things. And the noise is all gone. You don't hear traffic. Basically hear birds and or quiet and the breeze through the leaves. It is pretty, isn't it? Oh, it's that and so much more. So hurry here soon and discover a state parkland that fills you with pride for the quiet times. At Wapato Greenway with photographer Jeff Kastner, Grant McComey, KGW.